thank you for joining me in the demonstration that we've given. Just to close, perhaps just a, a, a review of, of what we've done today and what we've spoken about. The Picoscope, as you've seen, is a remarkable, versatile product. Um, a, it can move with you with the vehicle, it's portable, it's versatile, it's all of the things which we spoke about earlier. Just perhaps um, I mentioned about the format, the tool you're going to interface with it, the laptop. Um, my choice would be laptop rather than desktop because one of the powerful assets is portability. Two choices here. You go for a very cheap laptop, which in effect becomes um, uh, an expandable asset, or uh, you go for something professional. Uh, you'll have seen these in the press, and these things really are incredibly versatile. Things like that do happen in the workshop. It's also extremely compact, and it complements the use of the Pico tool superbly. So if you want a recommendation, this one would go for it. In terms of what we can look at, we've seen a few examples, and we can't do all of them on camera within just a short frame of time. So let's take a look at some of the components we can test with Pico. Um, ABS sensors, often a problem on the car. Alternators, another important issue. Power control, power systems. Cam sensors. Relative compression, we can use current to measure relative compression. CAN bus, this, this is the current, not the future. CAN is going to be an enormous problem in the future. This scope comes fully capable with presets to capture CAN uh, and errors within the CAN network, essential for debugging CAN problems. Coolant sensors, crank sensors, distributors, there are still some distributors about with trigger mechanisms in them. Fuel pump, we can look at voltage and current draw on the pump, determine if the pump is uh, mechanically faulty as well as electrically competent. Glow plugs with diesel. Ignition, of course, you've seen on the practical test. Injectors also you've seen practically. Idle control valves, um, knock sensors, lambda sensors, of course, is uh, zirconia, titanium, uh, titanium, and, of course, the, the uh, uh, broadband sensors you've seen displayed. Map and manifold pressure sensors. Um, you've seen the um, dual test that we carried out practically with the um, uh, mass airflow sensor and, and lambda. Starter motor draw current. And, of course, down to throttle pot. Um, all of these are crucial sensors, all easily um, um, tested within the preset parameters within the, the automotive uh, toolbar button. So an incredibly versatile tool. And I hope you've enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope you've gained some, some experience from what we've shown today. Thank you for joining me.